On April 9, 1865, an emotional end to a war that took the lives of more than 700,000 Americans occurred at a home in the tiny town of Appomattox, today a historical park. The two major armies had met on this site when Robert E. Lee, the commander of the Confederates, surrendered to Union General Ulysses Grant. Wade Rawls, head of the Appomattox branch of the Museum of the Confederacy, says the surrenders continued for about two months. Other armies, though, were still in the field. So it took the surrender of other armies uh, in North Carolina, in Texas, to either disband or surrender. In this reenactment of the April 12th surrender of the arms at Appomattox, Union troops marched in first, followed by weary and beaten down Confederates. The two sides faced each other as the Confederates stacked their arms. The reenactment hit home for Bruce Blackman of North Carolina, who played a Confederate colonel and had an ancestor in the war. It's a very emotional thing for, uh, the, for those of us who maybe had ancestors at that surrender or ancestors in the Civil War. It evokes a lot of feeling when you think about the number of lives lost on, on both sides of the conflict and the tragedy that, that it really was. At this makeshift Union camp in the park, Henry Schmid considers how difficult the war must have been for both sides. As far as the, the Union, they must have felt uh, like a, a large weight was lifted off their, their chest. And on the Confederate side, it was a great sadness because they fought so hard for their cause, even though it was a wrong cause. There were black soldiers at Appomattox, some of the thousands of the so-called colored troops who fought for the North. Union reenactor Leo Vaughn has ancestors who fought in the Civil War, but on the Confederate side. And they were white because my great-great-grandfather was the plantation owner. At the Confederate camp, this reenactor believes the Union had no business attacking the Confederate states. If I was put back in 1860, 18, from 1860 to 1865, I would have definitely picked up a musket and fought for my, my homeland. After the surrender, Grant allowed many of the Confederates to keep their sidearms and horses if they abided by federal law. Blackman says the soldiers were given paper passes so they could safely return home. So that they were um, accosted or stopped by federal troops along the way home, they could show the past. But to this day, the Civil War remains a sore point for many in the southern states, where it is known as the War of Northern Aggression. Kevin Reynolds, a Confederate reenactor from South Carolina, says despite the bloodshed, it was important the country came together again. After everything that we've done, I'm, the greatest thing is that we were reunited as Americans. Deborah Block, VOA News, Appomattox.